Hi, I'm Jason from Kinetic Images and welcome to another video in my Trucks and Stuff series. In this particular video we're going to talk about reversing and three golden rules that I use and I would like to convey to you to help you with your reversing. If it will help you, I will be happy chappy. First one is approach the job on the driver's side at all times if you can. The left hand side is called the blind side and it's no good for anybody so if you can approach on the right hand side that would be great. Go down and do a UE and come back if you have to but it will help you. The next one is get out and look, G-O-A-L which you'll see on a lot of the acronym on a lot of wing mirrors of fleet trucks. And the third one is straighten up, get yourself lined up as straight as possible to make it as easy as possible for your objective. My objective is McDonald Auctions today and here is the S that I've got to do with the trailer to get around all these obstacles and the number one obstacle from McDonald is his building. Don't hit it. Again from the inside you can see all the obstacles I've got, the building and the S bend that the trailer has to take. He's a nice bloke, his trees, that building's been hit quite a few times but not by me and uh, we like to make things as painless as possible for our clients and both for the owner of the truck and Mr McDonald in particular. So I've pulled up, I've cleared his driveway and I'm going to get out and have a look and have a chat to him to make sure it's all cool to come inside which he said no worries, he'll keep an eye out for me and that's all good, I won't bore you with those details. So my number third, my, sorry, my third rule was to line yourself up to make it as easy as possible um, to, so you can see your objective in the driver's side mirror and make life a lot easier. There's plenty of room in front of me, so why not use it? The trailer's now lined up to the right hand side of the gate as you see it, view it from this angle. I'll speed it up. And I'm just gonna hook the trailer in at the last possible moment, nice and close to the left hand side as you view it, which means that I miss everything on the right. But I have hooked the trailer a little bit further and brought it closer to the, the gate post. The reason for that is that you'll see there's a ute directly behind me, see that gap there, and I need to clear him. In particular, he's my second obstacle, or sorry, third I should say, the gate entry, the building, and now the ute. And just as I clear the front of the trailer, I'll start hooking it around further, so I can start doing the second part of that S, and to clear the wing mirror from the, the gate post. Everything was pretty uneventful, so we'll leave that one. I've tried many times to get a camera higher than the truck and the trailer so you get a better idea of what it looked like, but to no avail unfortunately, which was the delay in getting this video out to you folks. But I thought why not get a drone, whack her up in the air and head down to a boat ramp. So let's go and have a look at that. Now please, folks, note that I'm not having a go at anybody here. I'm just trying to convey my three golden rules and whether it helped or hindered any of these people. We've lined up. This guy's going to come back, and I think he's going to go to the right-hand side of the ramp there. But, as you will see, he doesn't. And this is a classic case of not lining up. He doesn't need to get out and look. He doesn't need to approach from the left because there's plenty of room. With all due respect, kudos to him, he got in, no dramas, no damage, no issues, but he made life a lot harder than he really needed to. A simple line-up would have been great, he would have just used his wing mirrors. Old mate in the jet ski, jet skis are harder because they're narrower than your two mirrors on the side of your truck, or your car in this case, sorry. And I think that he's used his centre mirror, because at the back of that jet ski are a couple of aids that I think he's using to look straight through his back mirror and reverse it down. And again, no dramas, a little bit of a wiggle, but that's normal. And in you go, happy days. This guy is the first one who came all the way up to the mouth of the ramp to start his turn and straighten up and in he comes. 
as you can see, he, he's not quite lined up for the position that he wants to go in, but I don't think he needed to. This guy's got it under control. You can tell. Nice and easy. Just brings it back. One little wiggle. And actually, at the very end of his manoeuvre, he kicks the trailer just so it points to the centre pontoon, so he just slides the boat off and gets to where he wants to go. So there you go guys and girls, that's another one in my trucks and stuff series and reversing. I've always got a drone with me or my action cameras with me and I've just bought some 360 degree action cameras so I'd love to do some more videos if I can get some good feedback from you folks and you could let me know that you'd want to see something like hooking up or operating the crane that we have on the back of the truck etc. So I hope everybody's doing well in these COVID times. It's pretty stressful but um, you know just stay safe and it would be nice to see you in my next video or two. It would really, really help if you subscribed and shared the video and commented. It costs you nothing and it would really help me and give me incentive to progress and do more videos because I really enjoy it. So thanks very much. Take care and be safe. Cheers.